This has got to be the most brain-melting video ever because these are the top five hardest riddle videos on YouTube. From solving high IQ questions to completing the most impossible riddles ever. For real, only the smartest viewers with 900 IQ can answer the questions at the end. So stick around and let us know if you were able to solve it. Let's go. And we're seeing if Justin can solve some impossibly weird riddle. Okay, Justin, let's see how many of these you can solve. Guys, check out the merch. It'll be linked down below. You can get everything we're wearing it. Let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this girl riddle. Huh? Jack lives in a city with lots of different creatures. Okay, okay. One day, Jack's friend took him to a party. The party was for everybody. Humans and weird creatures. That's cool. That's an inclusive party. Jack was hoping to find a girlfriend. Oh, okay. There were a lot of girls at the party. Why did you <laughs> show me a riddle you made about yourself? <laughs> I, no, I'm not Jack. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I would never uh -huh. be invited to the party to begin with. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Jack liked four girls. Okay, okay. He wanted to talk to one of them. Okay, okay. Who should he choose? Is you have to pick out which girl would fit best with Jack. Why? How? Why? Now, Jack is a human, yeah. so you probably want to try and find the person that is not a creature. So I'm trying to find the girl that he should choose? Yeah. Are you good at giving relationship advice? Oh, yeah. What is your number oh, one yeah. tip for guys that want to try and find a girlfriend. I would say in general, try to not look like Jack. <laughs> Uh, That's mean. Try to not, you know, <laughs> just a normal dude wearing all pink. He looks like uh, a cup. <laughs> Never mind, never mind. Never now, there's a lot of creatures here. They have, like, vampires. It looks like they have, like, werewolves. Like, a bunch of different stuff. Okay, okay. So, I need to find out which girl he should date. Yeah. Now, the first girl looks like a very nice lady. Uh-huh. But what's with her hand? Is that either a glove and she's dressed up for the party or she has some sort of seaweed has salad fingers type hands, you know? Seaweed hand? Seaweed hand. <laughs> some sort of algae growing on there. I don't know. Okay. Some sort of shrub. Okay. This lady looks very nice also chatting. But she got two little red dots on her neck. What does that mean? That could mean she's either a creature or she's a human who's been bitten by a creature. Like a vampire? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, the third lady seems relatively normal. Okay. And the last lady also seems totally normal. <laughs> okay, so you narrowed it down to the last two girls. Who do you think is a better match for Jack? Now, this is a tough one. The one on the left looks very nice. She got a purse. So mm -hmm. maybe she got some monies. Mm -hmm. So maybe Jack needs to get with her. You know, she could give him some money, give him a loan. He could buy some new clothes. Okay. Damn. The one on the right has her phone out. It looks to be in selfie mode. Maybe she is a social media influencer. So you think the fourth girl with the phone is a social media, maybe like a popular YouTuber? Yeah. So he should get with her? <laughs> Let me think of other YouTubers I know. There's us. Yeah, okay, maybe don't go with that one then. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say the third one because she looks just like a normal person and she got... Oh, wait. The last one has sunglasses on inside. That probably tells me something. I think she has the sunglasses on because she has some sort of... She's a creature and her eyes are light sensitive. Okay. Now, I'm gonna give you a little hint. You are not correct. Huh? So, I want you to pretend to be Jack. Okay. I have set up four girls here yeah. for you to oh, use. wow. Now, okay, the first girl, the girl on the far left, yeah. she's got a green thing on her hand. Oh, yeah. Like the Billy Beanie. Yeah. May I start by saying all four of you, <laughs> very, very attractive. <laughs> lovely, lovely ladies here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, very aesthetic. How about try talking to this one? Very nice to meet she you. She wants to shake your hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 so slimy. Okay, okay. Wait, I don't judge. Okay. It's very nice to meet she you. She might be a creature, though. Now, the second girl has some bites on her neck. Okay, got some red dog. Okay, okay yes. maybe try talking to her. Hello? I hope you are a human and not a vampire creature. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, she tried to bite you. Down. Would you trust this face? <laughs> yeah, I would. And now the third girl looks pretty normal. She has the blue on. Looking very normal. Yeah, she cool. Okay, okay you like that yeah, one. And the cool. last girl, she might be the influencer. I miss the old Justine. Now, okay. okay, look at that girl real close. Uh -huh. She is on her phone, has sunglasses on. Okay, she's an influencer. <gasps> Oh, whipping out the Gucci phone case. Yo, she's flexing. Taking some selfies, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. At first, before we did this simulation, I thought Jack should go with the normal girl with the purse. Uh -huh. But the influencer. <laughs> I miss the old Justy. <laughs> I'm going with the influencer. I'm changing my answer to the influencer. Really? After this simulation, yes. So you want the hype. I'm trying to get that clout. <laughs> True. True. Okay, now, let's see what the answer is. Justin thinks it's the fourth girl. The first girl is a zombie. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> I'm escorting you out of the party. Get her out of there. No. The second girl has vampire bites on her neck. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> She'll turn into a vampire any minute. Hey, get okay, her out of smart. here. Okay, yeah. now we have the two left over, right? Dude, I knew it. Okay, you chose the fourth girl. Yeah. The fourth girl is a ghost. What? She doesn't have feet. What? She was floating. You are, oh, you were right. There's no feet. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you gonna play me like this? <laughs> Which means that the third girl was actually the human. So I had the, the right answer, and then after the simulation, I switched to the wrong answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now Justin got that riddle wrong. Oh, you're serious. So for now, we're gonna get into the next riddle, which is this box riddle. Uh huh? Johnny had an important work project today. Okay. There's Johnny walking yeah, to work. Johnny. He left the house early. Nice. But suddenly, a heavy box crashed onto his head. <laughs> That's the perfect time for a Roblox sound, right when it hits what, him. Why? <laughs> what is this riddle? He was rushed to the hospital. Okay, good. The neighbors called the detective oh, no. to find out who threw the box. Why would somebody do that? Brian questioned all the residents of the building. Okay. He started from the ninth floor. Okay. The detective asked them all one question. Okay. What have you been doing for the last hour? What have you been doing for the last hour? <laughs> Trying to improve my day. <laughs> it's not working. Mark was up first. Uh -huh. I just came from the store. I bought parrot food. Interesting story, Mark. Susan says, I've been sleeping all day. It's my day off. That sounds real. Susan, not looking the best. She looks tired, Adam. Peter says, I was working from home. Why would I throw a box out of the window? I have better things to do. <laughs> One of the residents was guilty. Who? One of the three people here <laughs> threw the box. Oh, wow. It could I... either be Mark with his parrot, yeah. Susan. Susan, who was sleeping, or yeah. Peter, who was working from home. Right. Let me think real hard about this. Let me think about this. We're gonna do a quick reenactment. Adam, you can play Johnny. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and go for a quick walk. Going to work. Oh, man. I love my life. Ow! 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 Stop it! Now, okay. I will bring down the three suspects. Uh-oh. Now, Jimmy says, I was getting food for my pet. Okay, so Jimmy is Mark. Jimmy Mark. He was Susan. He was sleeping. Yeah, okay, that's so he's accurate. Susan. Yeah, that's accurate. And now Cookie says, I don't even like honey buns. I didn't know who threw a honey buns box at you. Okay, so Peter but, is Cookie. Yeah, but how did Cookie know it was a honey buns box? Because you always have honey buns. Oh. I'm thinking it's Peter for obvious reasons. Why do you think it's Peter? This answer is obvious, Adam. Is it because he has a beard? That's 100% not why I oh. think it's Peter. The detective only asked everybody one question. He said, what did you do for the past hour? Why would I throw a box? How did he know it was a box? Oh, yeah. okay. Let's see what the answer is. It was Peter. Brian never said anything about a box. Peter brought it up on his own. Let's go. Cookie Dude. says, I don't even like iPhones. Why would I throw an iPhone? Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, Justin got that one right. Good job. And we're going to go to the next riddle right now, which is, who's not a robot? Who's not a robot? Okay, now there are three ladies here. Oh, man. Oh, Two this, of them oh, are man. a robot. Oh, man. This is kind of like the dating riddle, which is good for me because I am actually the return <laughs> of Robo Justin. <laughs> beep, 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 boop, so boop, you boop, think boop. that if you turn into a robot, you might be able to identify other robots in the riddle? Beep, 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 boop, boop, okay. Boop, boop, boop. So what do you think about girl A? Beep, beep, beep. So she's using an iron. Beep, she beep, seems beep, to be beep, ironing beep, some clothes. Beep, beep, beep. Wow. Beep, 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 beep. The cord? Beep, 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 beep,
Okay. Are you dancing? Oh, the ironing is plugged into her body. <laughs> yeah? So you think A might be a robot because she's literally powering the iron with her own body? Okay. Girl number two. She's stepping in some soup. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just drink some water really quick. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Justin. 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 It's okay. It's dry off. Dude, you short circuited. You were just like the girl in the riddle. Okay, she was stepping in some water, and it looks like she's like frying or something, her leg. That means you think it might be the third girl that's the human? What if you're wrong? Looks pretty good. Can you hit that pose? <laughs> so robots cannot hit that pose? Yeah. It's either gonna be B because her foot is like steaming in a puddle or it's C because only a robot could have such perfect balance to hit that pose. Also, I feel like uh, only a robot could have knees like that. Yeah. Like, something's up. She, she should see a doctor. Her calves are bigger than my biceps. <laughs> I'm gonna go with, I think C is the human. And the answer is, the iron is plugged into her body. Robots don't like water. C, she is not a robot. Let's go, Justin got that one right. And we can go to the next battle right now, which is this mystery riddle. Huh? Something's happening in the city. Okay. A lot of strange and mystical stuff is going on. It looks like trees fell. Just straight up fallen. Cars are vanishing. What? Enter Inspector Marquez and his dog Cherry. Oh. They don't believe in that mystical stuff. Nope. Well, maybe Cherry believes in it a little bit. <laughs> Why Cherry so thick? <laughs> just okay, just Cherry. Say. I'm sure I can even explain the weirdest cases. Okay. Follow me, Cherry. Okay. The first case for today, Mr. Abernathy's warehouse is on fire. Okay. Some cops already detained three suspects. They were near the warehouse when the fire started. Okay. But how did they do it? No matches or lighter anywhere. Must be some kind of magic, says Cherry. Uh, Who's the criminal? Uh, now, there are three guys by the warehouse, uh, by the fire. Uh, Who do you think started the fire? This is all the information I get? Yes. Okay, well. And I will give you a big hint. Cherry did not start the fire. Oh, really? No, the dog did not do it. Oh, I thought I knew the answer, but I didn't. <laughs> Let me come in. Inspector Marquez. More like Inspector Marcromy. <laughs> and my trusty dog. Not Cherry, but Jimmy. Okay. Yeah. okay. The warehouse is on fire. Now, these boxes are very suspicious. Okay. okay. One of them, he's got a construction hat on. He's moving some boxes. Now, this guy over here looks like a businessman. I don't know. He's got a briefcase. Uh -huh. What if he's got a flamethrower in the briefcase? Maybe. You don't know. Over here, we have just a regular your looking guy. Uh-huh. This is all the information I get? That's all the information you get. Now, this is a tough one. There's no matches or lighters anywhere, uh -huh. but how else could you start a fire? By rapping really good? Huh? Like a fire song. Give us a demonstration. Okay, me and my friend Boxy are chilling here, and I love Justin. Something like that. Oh, that was the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> How else do you start a fire? Maybe you could like tamper with like, I don't know, like a gas line or something in the building, mm -hmm. right? Which one of these three people would know how to do that? Oh, I'm smart. thinking it's the construction guy. He's carrying a box. There might be something in the box and he has the knowledge uh, to go do that. Smart. Okay. Let's see what the answer is. The answer is here. He is. What? He used glasses and sunlight to start the fire. <laughs> See, no magic. He was the only one that had glasses. And he used them to like point the ray of light at the box and start a fire. Are you trolling? That's dude. how that war was, dude. Yeah. What you mean? You could like make a fire. Like, you know how you can like use a magnifying glass to like condense light and make a fire? Yeah. You can do that with glasses. Dude, you got outsmarted. Ah, now, Jimmy. <laughs> Justin got that one wrong, which means he has gotten two correct, two wrong. This last riddle is going to determine if you win this entire game and oh, get a prize or not. It's make or break. Okay, here we go. We're gonna move on to the last riddle right now, which is this pregnancy riddle. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, now this one's real simple. Okay. All you gotta tell me is who's pregnant. Dude, there's two girls. One of them says delicious, <laughs> and she's eating a burger. And the other girl says healthy lunch was good, and she's eating some kind of salad smoothie. I hate you so much, Adam. <laughs> is it because you don't think you can solve this? Have you ever had any type of food that is green, like a salad, maybe some seaweed? I mean, I had some Mountain Dew. <laughs> Does that count? No, that's not healthy. She's eating a burger. Right? So she might have just had a really big meal, feeling a little bit bloated. She might not be pregnant. Okay. But she might also have had a craving because she is pregnant. That's smart. Okay, now the other girl. Now this makes sense because if you have a baby, maybe you want to eat healthy, make sure the baby's healthy. Right. You know? Now remember, guys, this is for everything. If Justin gets this one wrong, he gets the entire game wrong. No pressure, no pressure. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Ha! 20. Ha! 19. No! 18. No! 17. I'm, okay, I got 16. it. I think I got it. This lady on the right, she's wearing high heels. I don't know what it's like to be pregnant. I know what it's like to have a food baby, <laughs> but not pregnant. But I'm thinking, if you were actually pregnant, you wouldn't wear high heels. Now, obviously some people might, but I don't think that most people would, because that's a lot of stress on your ankles and your feet. Right, and, and you don't want to, like, accidentally fall. Yeah, I'm thinking, A, yeah, she got some nice balanced running shoes on. I'm thinking A is pregnant. So you think A is the correct answer? You think A is pregnant? A is pregnant. Think Cookie says we're gonna lock that in. Okay, here we go. The answer is, she's wearing high heels. Let's go! She's not pregnant. Pregnant. Let's go! Okay, Justin got that riddle right, which means he got three out of the five correct. He wins the game. And let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this school teacher riddle. Okay, okay. okay now this one gets pretty sad. Okay, Why? ready? PE teacher Mike worked in a school. Cool. Okay, there's Mike. Yeah, he chilling. Mike yeah. chilling. It is you. He was a professional football oh, player. Oh, he big chilling. Look at him okay. go. Yo, boom. But then he got injured. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not good. He had little choice but to work as a teacher. Okay. Mike became a completely different person. Okay. He was always angry and rude. Okay. His wife left him and he was all alone. Mike was proud of his past. Yeah, okay. That's cool. That's cool. He dusted his trophies almost every day. That's cool. Yeah. The children and teachers hated him and his lessons. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, that guy kind of looks like me. <laughs> okay. One morning, the kids found Mike knocked out in his office. <laughs> Are you serious? Detective Smith arrived at the scene of the crime. He was poisoned. Why? We found a poison in the cleaner. What cleaner? The trophy cleaner. What? The detectives interrogated all the teachers. Okay. Now, the math teacher said, I was in class with the fifth graders. Okay, yeah. The chemistry teacher said, this is my first day. I haven't even met Mr. Stiller. Uh-huh, okay. They hired me instead of the teacher who has just retired. This teacher said, I've just come to hold a lesson. And this guy said, he was my colleague. I respected him very much. Okay, okay. Who poisoned Mike? Okay, so <laughs> he was a soccer player. He failed Dude. and became a PE teacher. Dude. He was cleaning his trophies and they found poison in the cleaning bottle that he was using to clean his trophy. And you have to figure out who did it. Can we back up? What was the whole point of that entire backstory? <laughs> Other than to depress me. <laughs> to make you feel sad for him. Why does that matter? Because now you want to figure out who poisoned him. You want to redemption him. I do have a few things to help you with this riddle, I want you to pretend like you are Mike, and maybe if you get inside his mind, you'll be able to figure it out. Okay. Instead of solving the riddle like a normal human being, I'm gonna reenact Mike's entire <laughs> life. Here we go. Okay. Alright, I'm Mike. I'm a pro soccer player. Yeah. Let me do a bicycle kick. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm injured. Oh, I can't play anymore. I gotta be a PE teacher. Okay. I'm with the student Everyone the, hates you. The students don't like ah, 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 They're beating me up. Ah, I have to go home and dust my trophy. <laughs> Now that you have relived Mike's life, do you know who poisoned you? Now that I have done that entire reenactment, I have absolutely no idea <laughs> why you had me do that. <laughs> now, right away, I noticed that there are two chemistry teachers. Uh-huh. That's a red flag. Something's wrong there. There can only be one chemistry teacher. Maybe the school has a lot of kids that want to be scientists, so they have to have two different teachers. Possible? 
The math teacher I was in class with the fifth graders. That sounds totally true. Chemistry teacher, this is my first day. I haven't even met Mr. Stiller. They hired me instead of the teacher who was just retired. Chemistry teacher, I just come to hold a lesson. One of them's lying. The dance teacher, he, he's chilling. So you think it's one of the two chemistry teachers? It has to be. Because there's two chemistry teachers. Yeah. Who do you think looks more suspicious? The blonde woman or the brunette woman? I'm not going to judge them by their appearances. I'm okay. going to read closely. This is my first day. I haven't even met Mr. Stiller. They hired me instead of the teacher who just retired. I've just come to hold the lesson. I think she just retired. She lied. She's back at school for no reason, and I don't understand why she would do this. I'm Wait, was she look. earlier in the room? Oh, dude! I'm a... Jesus! <laughs> the children and teachers hated him. There she is. She's the only teacher that doesn't like him. She hates him. It was her. Dude! Or it was... It was not me. She was retired and then came back for no reason to poison him. Thank you. I will now accept my Oscar for big brains. Do you have a trophy room like this with pictures of yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All for what? Points. Competitive speed eating. <laughs> you know? Okay, let's see what the answer is. The answer is the chemistry teacher. She is retired and she has no classes. Whoa, I got Dude. that right. Okay, Justin got that one right. And we're going to move on to the next riddle right now, which is who is right? Rich. Who's rich? Okay, now there are three people that are in jail. Yeah. And you have to tell me, out of these three people, which one of them is rich? Wait, they're in jail? Yeah. There's a guy on the left uh -huh. who looks like he has like a big meal. Uh -huh. They ain't good. But he looks really sad. Okay, he looks very sad. Now he, he looks like Voldemort. Maybe this is Azkaban. Dude, I didn't even <laughs> think about that. Is that Draco Malfoy? <laughs> okay, he has a really nice meal. Wait, he also has like shrimp or like yeah, worms? I don't, I don't know what that is worms. It's either shrimp, which would make him rich, or worms, which would make him poor. Uh-huh. Okay, the other guy, this guy has a normal meal, but he's got some blink. He's, he's got also blink. incredibly buff. He's jacked. I don't know how that happens. You should try and hit this pose, Adam. Do well, it. I don't want to, like, flex on our audience. You have done that many times before. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, get this I'm on. not even flexing right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, I couldn't even see a difference. What, you want to see me flex? Oh, please, no. Is it even gonna, like, be able to get it all in the camera? <laughs> Yeah, we might need to actually zoom out on the camera. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> it's funny because that's actually me flexing. Between these two guys already, who do you think has more money? I mean, I think it's him because he's got the bling. <laughs> he apparently has money for like a personal trainer yeah, in jail. Yeah, I mean, he's rich. Okay, the third guy. He's looking at the muscular dude. Uh-huh. It looks like he has a bottle of some undisclosed drink. It might be like Mountain Dew. Yeah, this is tough, man. I mean, I don't know. They all look rich for different reasons. This guy got a really nice meal. This mm -hmm. guy got the best meal. This guy's jacked and he has bling. And this guy has this bottle, which I don't understand. But Dude, it might be soda. Like, do they allow soda in jail? Okay, I'm thinking it's either... B or C, but I'm thinking it's C because this bottle, like, he probably paid to have that, like, snuck in jail, you know? Like, that's not safe. Like, you can't have that bottle. He could, like, use it to, like, break something, you oh, know? yeah. Okay, wait. Let me try and help you solve the riddle. Huh? I'll be all three of these guys, and maybe it'll help you figure out who's rich. Okay, okay. First, I'll be guy A. Okay. Okay, so he's bald. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. If you are gonna be the prisoner, we must have some security. Guard master Mr. Kooky has come in. He says, don't move. Yeah. Kooky says, we are now handcuffed together. Don't make any sudden moves. Person A has a big meal. So I got some donuts, some Oreos, yeah. all the good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. But he's really sad. So he's eating like this. But I was supposed to be helping you solve the riddle. <laughs> Cookie says, I have confiscated your food. And now, I am now locking you up and confiscating your food. Yeah. But I'm not done trying to help you solve the riddle. Yeah. Okay, cool. We got a food party. Yeah. So now. Ch no. So now. No, not so now. now Justin. Now, Cookie, Justin. And I have all the food. No, Justin. You're a little bald man <laughs> into a chair. I'm trying to help you solve this riddle. But you immediately. Immediately just took everything I had and left me with nothing. Googie says that's not true. We're gonna give you some rations. There's one Fruit Loop for you. That's my dinner. Yeah. You will now watch us eat these Oreos. Can I have another Fruit Loop? No. <laughs> Can I have that? 
<laughs> Just that. After all that, who do you think is rich? It's honestly got to do with the drink. Because food, you could have food in jail, but to have like a special drink, he must have paid for that with money. He must have snuck that in. Cookie, I just asked Officer Cookie. He said that's not allowed. He said you can have bling in jail. I think I don't really know. You can have like gold jewelry in jail. Probably. I don't know why not. So you think the richest guy is C because he has like a special soda or something that they're not allowed in jail? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what the answer is. The answer is who is rich? Person oh! C because these are not allowed in the prison. He must be rich. Let's go, dude. You're able to figure it out. Okay, Justin got that one right, and we can go to the next riddle right now, which is this poison riddle. Oh no. Okay, now a couple has just had a meal. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, it looks cool. like a happy couple, yeah, they look right? Very happy. Anna offered her husband an apple, but he refused. No. Then she cut the apple into two. So both ate half of it. Both ate half of it? Yeah, okay, they both they had half the half. apple. As soon as he ate it, he died. He slumped over. <laughs> he took one bite. He said, okay. Yep, that's what happened. Put a, ooh, put a Roblox out. He just face forward. <laughs> put the Windows rebooting sound. <laughs> as soon as he ate it, he knocked out. How did she survive? Oh, what? Okay, so that's a riddle. So <laughs> she offered him an apple. He said no. She cut the apple in half. He ate his half and he knocked out. How did that happen? Because she ate her half too. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to bring in an apple okay. and a knife for you. Okay, let me back this up. A couple just had a meal. Now I'm analyzing very closely the meal. Uh huh. She offered him an apple, but he refused. So she cut it into two and both ate half of it. As soon as he ate it, he died. Okay, let me try it. Let me do a simulation. Okay. Adam, would you like an apple? Uh, no. Okay, well then I'm gonna cut it in half. Wow, you're really strong. Oh, oh a little bit mushy on the inside. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the inside of my skull. <laughs> you get to eat half. I'm gonna eat half. This apple Yo. went bad about three months ago. <laughs> eat it, Adam, eat it. It's like Squidward eating the Krabby Patty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He <laughs> takes just a little bite. Eat it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Adam has passed out. Which means only one thing. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking he had an apple allergy. <laughs> Boom, bop. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> if he had an apple allergy, why would he eat an apple? This is a riddle episode. None of this makes sense. It's either an apple allergy or, Adam, you gave away the answer. How? You called it a poison riddle. Oh. Why didn't you just call it an apple riddle? So there is poison involved, but they both ate the apple. I know. He probably ate the apple seeds. And apple seeds are poisonous. And she didn't. Wait, apple seeds are poisonous? Yeah. Is it because when you eat an apple seed, the tree grows inside you? Okay, let's see what the actual answer is. The poison was on one edge of the knife. When she cut the apple, only half of it was poison. So when she cut it, look, the poison went on one side, not her side. <laughs> and am I die? <laughs> So Justin got that one wrong. And we're going to move on to the next riddle, which is this SpongeBob riddle. What? Okay, now all you got to tell me is whose pet is it? We have Sandy, Patrick, and Squidward. Yeah. And then in the middle is someone's pet. At first glance, I thought that might be SpongeBob in disguise. It is not. <laughs> now it's a bird. It might have to live on land. So I'm thinking it might live with Sandy Cheeks. Okay. okay. I don't think it lives with Patrick because Patrick lives under a rock. And it would not be able to fly under a rock. Okay, that's very true. And I don't think it lives with Squidward because Squidward doesn't like things in general. Mm -hmm. I don't think he'd want to take care of it. Wait! It has matching trunks with Patrick. Dude! Is it Patrick's? I'm gonna say it's Patrick because they have the same shorts. What? To double check, I'm gonna eat this delicious Krabby Patty. It's gonna increase my IQ. Okay. <laughs> Why is so funny? Wait, what do you think the answer is now? Is this how you did so well on the SAT? <laughs> <laughs> what was your score on the SAT? Very high. <laughs> what does SAT stand for? <laughs> SAT. SAT. Sad. As in, you about to get sad on. <laughs> what was your score on the SAT? Yeah, real high. Really? <laughs> I filled out every bubble. <laughs> yeah. I filled out every bubble. Wait, like the multiple choice? You just filled in every bubble? <laughs> no, guys, don't do that. Don't do that. That's a joke. 
<laughs> Don't do that in real life. <laughs> you will not pass. Okay, so whose pet do you think it is? So, before you ate the burger, you thought it was Patrick because they have the same color of shorts. Yeah. After you ate the burger, what do you think the answer is now? Now that your IQ is higher and leaned through all that work. I'm thinking it's still Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just to get a lock in, Patrick Star as who the owner of the pet is? Mm -hmm. The answer is Patrick! Because they have the same shorts! Let's go! Dude, okay, let us know if you were able to figure that riddle out as well as Justin. Justin got that one right, and we get on to the next riddle right now, which is who is richer? Okay, who's richer? Okay, so there's two guys. You have to tell me which one of the two guys has more money. Okay, so the guy on the left is literally burning dollar bills. He's throwing them into a fire. <laughs> the guy on the right is shopping. Uh huh. He's got some clothes that say sale on them. Okay, so he's buying stuff that's on sale. Yeah, and he's in a Prada store. I think what the riddle wants me to think is that it's the guy who's looking at the sale. Uh huh. You know, I think that's what they want. And it's like, oh, you know, obviously, you know, obviously this guy's richer because he's got so much money. Right. What if it's a decoy and these are not real dollar bills? Like a fake flex. A fake flex. Like he bought like fake money and then he goes in public and like rumples up the money and throws it away to look really cool. <laughs> but it's actually fake money. I don't really know, honestly. This I mean, guy looks really sad though. This guy looks d just straight up depressed. Do you think that's part of it? Like he has so much money that he wants to like burn it because he just wants to get rid of it because it made him so depressed? Wait, you're actually genius. What if it's not richer like materialistic things? What if it's richer like spiritual? Like happiness? Yeah, this guy looks real happy. Look, he's like, I found a nice deal. This guy is depressed. Money cannot buy happiness. So when you get really sad, do you throw money into the fire? Well, when I get really sad, I throw food into my mouth. <laughs> but that's kind of similar. You do that when you're not sad too, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you demonstrate what you look like when you're sad? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, it's your girlfriend. She just broke up with you. <laughs> I'm gonna take my justy bucks uh -huh. and throw them into a fire. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna take some honey bucks and I'm gonna throw them into my mouth. Does this make you feel better? <laughs> I don't need to call my girlfriend, honey, because I got some honey bucks. <laughs> yeah. I think the guy on the left is richer unless these bills are fake and he's got play money and he's doing a fake flex, you know? Like Monopoly money? Yeah, like he's trying to flex on the gram or uh -huh. for TikTok. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be him. Okay, Justin thinks it's A because he's throwing money in the fire. I mean, unless it's play money. The answer is B because it's on sale, but it's Prada. The store he was at is Prada, so if he's shopping there, he has to be rich. <laughs> but the other guy's throwing money into a fire. I hate these riddles, Adam. Justin got that one wrong. <laughs> Let us know if you guys were able to figure that out. We're gonna get into the first weird mystery riddle right now, which is this clown riddle. Clown riddle. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here's how this one starts. Alan lived with his wife and daughter in a small town. Okay, okay. They were really poor. That's that. Like wait, us. That's not poor. <laughs> that's a big house. <laughs> that's way bigger than this room, <laughs> which I am forced to live in. <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> Sometimes they didn't even have enough food to eat. Now that's scary. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> that's sad. But Alan loved his daughter Annie very much. Okay. One day he bought her two tickets to the circus. Okay. Alan and Annie really liked the show. Oh, wow, whoa, whoa, how they put you in this riddle too. I'm not a clown. Wow, Justin. somebody put the clown emoji. Okay, cool. Now, for Annie, the best part by far was the clown. Yeah, he juggling like me. As they were leaving the circus, they saw saw the clown near the exit. Okay. He's still juggling. He's still juggling. And he grabbed her father's hand and shouted, uh -huh. Daddy, the clown's so funny. Let's invite him to my birthday party. Uh -huh. My friends will love it. Uh -huh. Alan asked the clown how much it would cost. Alan. The clown said, $500. Now, Alan, you need to pay, you need to buy some food, <laughs> not, not get a clown. <laughs> but Alan couldn't afford it. I would agree. The, then the clown offered him something that would cost much less. Alan agreed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Annie's birthday came two months later. What? And she had a clown in her party. Wait, what? Her friends loved it, and Annie was so happy. Uh, what did the clown offer uh, Alan? Uh, now, apparently, Alan could not afford food, but he could afford a gym membership because he's like Jack. 
<laughs> Wait, what kind of clown charges $500? Dude, this guy's a business Dude, man. Dude, I'm, I'm in the wrong business. I'm quitting this show. <laughs> I have been taking circus lessons <laughs> I can't juggle now. I'm starting my own clown business. You cannot juggle. Yes, I can. Really? Yes, I can. Prove it. Okay, I will. Well, I need so I need a third object to juggle, which is perfect because I'm actually going to come in Wait. with Adam's phone. No, do yeah. not drop it. You I've can been juggle. taking juggling classes. I hope so. You yeah. better not drop that. Yeah. Justin? Oh, Justin! Yeah. Justin. Yeah. Stop, Justin. Yeah. Justin. Yeah. I'm going to throw the phone higher. Justin. Get away. Justin. Justin, Justin! You've been going to circus lessons? Yeah, so I'm quitting really? this show. I'm How have you been able to afford those? I don't give you any money. How? You gave me a dollar each time I won the games on this show. Oh! So I have a bunch saved up. Justin. One handed. Justin. One handed. Yo. Alan couldn't afford it. Then the clown offered him something else. Alan agreed, and he has a clown at the party. How does that happen? Let me, but hold on. Let me just back this up. Let me get this straight. Dude, these people, they live in, a, you know, a house that looks like, I don't, it's, I guess it's kind of boarded up or something. Yeah. I don't know. It says they were really poor. Okay? Yeah. They have a fridge that's empty, apparently, but apparently he can afford to take her to the circus. He can afford two tickets to the circus. <laughs> And he can afford to throw this big birthday party for Annie and all her friends. Dude, have you ever been to a birthday party? Are you completely ignoring what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Something about this riddle does not add up. You know what the clown probably gave him? What? He probably gave him lessons in fiscal responsibility. I'm gonna lock that in. He taught him how to budget and save his money. Because <laughs> Alan doesn't know what he's doing. He's like, oh, open the fridge. It's empty. I'm hungry. But let me just go on the internet and buy some tickets <laughs> for my family to go to the circus. Okay, you think the clown gave Alan investment advice? I think the clown gave him some insider stock trading tips. I think Alan became a millionaire overnight <laughs> by hacking the system. I do not condone taking insider stock trading advice from clowns at the circus. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> no. But I think that's what he did. Really? <laughs> How else, dude? Alan doesn't have any money. He doesn't even have food in his fridge. How's he gonna pay $500 for a clown? Now, how do you feel about their fridge situation? Now, this makes me incredibly distressed. They, they do some... have a lot of vegetables. It looks like a block of cheese and a can of something. Okay, you gotta figure this out. Now, let me look closer. Let me look closer. Let me analyze every detail and every frame. Do you think it has something to do with Alan's wife? I was noticing that she kind of disappeared from the riddle. Maybe. Dude, what if he had her dress up as the clown? Dude, let's see. Does that look like his wife? Oh, wait! That's him! Oh! Bruh! Dude! Bruh! <laughs> so, Dude. What, what the clown gave Alan for much cheaper was probably clown lesson. He probably gave him clown lessons like I'm gonna give you. Here's some juggling balls. I'm gonna teach you how to juggle. Okay. Okay, now throw them up in the air and try to catch them with the other hands. Yeah, nice! Okay, you do it again. Oh, keep I did going. it! And now I'm gonna add a third ball, go! Okay, keep going, keep going! Okay, keep going, ah, go, go, ah, go! Ah, and then I'm gonna ah, add ah, an iPhone! Ah, okay, ah, cool! Justin! Justin! No, not Foxy! And a dumb ball start juggling! Juggle! 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 Well, he kinda is at the circus, because exactly. he's a circus elephant. Yes, Dumbo and I are starting our own circus business. If anyone wants to hire us, we will do birthday parties for $500. You think anyone's gonna pay $500 for you to oh, go to their birthday? Absolutely! So if you pay us $500, Dumbo Dumbo and I will escape from this room, show up at your birthday party, probably eat a lot of the cake, and then go home. For $500. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think anyone's going to pay for that? Maybe the clown should give you money advice. Okay, Justin thinks the clown offered Alan clown lessons and maybe his outfit, and that yep. it's actually Alan at yep. the birthday party. Yup, yup. Okay, let's see what the answer is. He rented his costume to Alan. You got it right. Alan put it on and pretended to be a clown. Now, Justin got that one right. We're going to move on to the next riddle, which is... Who is the mom? Who is the mom? Okay. Now, all you have to tell me is, who is the kid's mom? Uh, so, there's two women. Yeah. They're underwater. Yeah. The mermaid is saying, he's my kid. And the human is saying nothing. 
You have to tell me who is the mom. What kind of riddle is this? Now, have you ever been in a situation like this? This actually looks like you, Adam. No. Does this remind you of being in school? You that know? kid's way more muscular than me. <laughs> This looks like you trying to decide who to go to prom with. <laughs> you know, all the girls beyond Adam MacArthur, you know. Now, the mermaid is saying, he's my kid. Do you think that tells you anything? Why isn't the other woman talking? Because she's not a mermaid. She can't breathe underwater. Dude. Bruh. I actually just solved this riddle in record time. The kid looks kind of like the mom on the right. Uh -huh. She has brown hair. But that made me look closer at the kid. What are these lines on his neck? Dude, it could be like a tattoo. I'm probably gonna rule that out because this kid looks like he's about 10 years old. Uh-huh. Unless he's a bad boy. That might be part of the this riddle. Might, this might be, but I'm thinking it's either a tattoo or it's gills. And he can breathe underwater. So actually, we're gonna put that to the test. Wait, wait, wait. You think he has gills, but if he's actually a mermaid, why doesn't he have a mermaid tail like the mom? Because, Adam, he's a merman. Mermans have mermaid tails. I've never seen a merman, so I wouldn't know. I Where? have. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? On SpongeBob. What? Mermaid Man. Mermaid Man? Yeah, he didn't have a tail. Yeah, he does. Mermaid Man and Barnacle? He doesn't have a tail. <laughs> yeah? No, he doesn't. No. <laughs> no, he literally doesn't. You're proving my point. Do you think I'm trying to trick you? I think you an idiot. <laughs> First, Adam, we're going to time you. Okay. I'm going to bring out your phone with a timer. Let's see how long you can hold your breath. Three, two, one. Wait, why is this going to go? I was just going to help you. Yeah, because you look like the kid in the riddle. So let's see how long you can hold your breath, and then I'll test it with gills and without gills. Okay, okay. you made it. <laughs> Ten seconds. Uh, I got nervous. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can I try again? No, you may oh. not. Okay. You better hope you never go for a swim, Dumbo, with ten seconds. <laughs> That's not looking. You... Ten seconds? Adam, you might need to go get your lungs checked out. No, I have really good lungs. Okay, okay. I know. <laughs> Dude, what if I'm a mermaid and that's why I can't breathe well? I think you're right. Or it could be we my bronchitis. We gotta put you back underwater. Go quick, quick, quick. I'm not quick. a merman. Put you I'm back not a merman. Justin, what? I'm not a merman. Now we're gonna test the breathing experiment with gills like this kid. We're gonna see if these are gills. Okay, now let's see how long you can hold your breath with these gills. Three, Wait, two, this would help me one, breathe underwater. go. Breathe through the gills on that big neck. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Oh. Oh. Do it for your mermaid mom. Okay. Okay. Dude. I doubled my time. <laughs> that probably is not really how that works in real life. At all. But. Wait, you're saying you cannot just draw gills with a sharpie and expect to double the amount of time you can I breathe? I don't know. That's what you just did. Not me. Yeah. Yeah. It was because I, I, I was only using one of my lungs in the first one. And on the next one, I used twice because I used both my lungs. And <laughs> just like how right now you're only using one of your brain cells? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm gonna lock that in. I think those are gills because that proved it. You you held your breath for twice as long with the gills. Okay, gills. Justin thinks... Wait, who's the mom then? It's the mermaid. Okay, Justin hey. thinks the mermaid is the mom because the boy has gills. Yep. She's human. Yes. He's smiling and obviously can breathe underwater. Yes. Besides, he has gills. Let's go. She's the mom. Dude, you're doing so good. Let's go. Okay, Justin got that one right. And we're going to move on to the next riddle right now, which is this sister riddle. Sisters? Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Polly and Clara were sisters. Clara was older. Okay. And always teased her younger sister. You're just a silly little girl. Always will be. Wow, that's kind of... Okay. That year, Polly went to primary school. Okay. She was really proud of herself. Nice, Polly. And was sure that Clara wouldn't call her little anymore. Uh-huh. But Clara kept teasing her. Uh-huh. Primary school is for babies. Okay. Everything's so easy. Uh, then, Polly decided to teach Clara a lesson. How? Really? Then try to solve a riddle. Oh, Polly about to flex. That our teacher told us this morning. Okay. She's like, no problem, baby. Baby. From what number can you take away half and leave nothing? Now, that's the riddle 
Do you think this is a baby? Riddle? Do you? Okay. Try and solve it. It's From just... what number can you take away half and leave nothing? Mm -hmm. Polly might actually be a baby. <laughs> the answer is zero. No. Oh. It's not zero? No. I'm a baby then. <laughs> what number? Now, okay, maybe there's some hints in the riddle. At the start, I believe Polly was holding a cat, right? Do you think that has anything to do with it? <gasps> you try to trick me! <laughs> maybe she's allergic. <laughs> you take that last brain cell you have and you tell me what a cat allergy has to do with math. <laughs> <laughs> well, cat and math rhyme. Cat allergy, math allergy, math algorithm. You know what else rhymes with math? Bath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is what I'm about to give no, you. No, Justin. Justin. Oh, stop Justin. Mermaid Justin. Man. I'm not a mermaid man. Yeah. You're just upset because you, you can't solve it. Do a little math. You're about to feel my wrath. <laughs> and then take a bath. <laughs> From what number can you take away half and leave nothing? Dude, it's zero. It's definitely zero. You take, you take zero, you divide by half. Can you divide zero by two? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Let's see what happens when I do that in a calculator. Okay, it's gonna give you zero. No, yeah. zero divided by two. Is zero. Yeah, but you can't divide by, because zero is nothing. You can't divide nothing in half. If I give you no- You just did! If I give you no donuts and I say, can I have half? What are yeah, you gonna you give me? Yeah, you still have nothing. No. Yeah? No. Then you just proved yourself wrong! You idiot. Nope. This doesn't make any sense. It's zero. I'm locking that in. You're trying to troll me. Okay. Am I a baby? Am I getting this totally wrong? What number can you take away half and leave nothing? Or it's like one of those trolls where it's like, it's like the number is 11 and taking away half is getting rid of one of the ones. What if I told you you were a little close? And leave Maybe. nothing. Maybe. The number is eight. Is it? And you take away half. Justin, Justin, no, you weren't supposed to find these. Justin, Justin. <laughs> okay, Justin thinks after much thought that the answer is eight. It's because when you take away half, it leaves zero. Now that's probably the answer to the riddle, but Polly is still a baby because the actual answer is zero. I do not endorse learning false mathematics on this show okay here's the answer eight yeah that's not how that works polly because when you take away the top half you're left with zero yeah polly i hate to break it to you but uh your sister clara might be right you might be an actual baby okay justin's just a little upset because he needed some help to solve that one I, let, us it know, dude, it's zero. let us know if you figured that out before, Justin, and if you're actually smarter. I must say, Justin got that one right. It just took him a long time. <laughs> and we're going to move on to the next riddle, which is this classroom riddle. Okay, okay. Okay. An inspector came to school. He noticed that whenever he asked a question, the whole class rose their hand. Oh. Rose hands, okay. Every time the teacher picked a new student to answer the question. Okay. So there's the inspector, but the teacher picked the student. Okay. And every time the answer was correct. Huh? So he's asking the square root of 625. 25. Boom! And the kid got it right. Now, how is that possible? No matter what the inspector asked, the kids all rose their hand and they always got it right. Now, what do you immediately think could be the answer? What kind of student were you like in school? Oh, you know, the best. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no. When the teacher called on you, would you always have the answer oh, right? 100%. Really? 100%. Okay, let's do a simulation. Yeah. What is four times five? Justin. 20. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't mean to flex on everybody. Yeah. What's 15 times 300? <laughs> the 300. 4,500. Wait, you said 15? I don't know, three. did I? I don't know what you said. <laughs> well, if you were smart, you knew what I said. It's 4,500. Really? Yeah. Off the bat, I'm gonna say these kids are probably <laughs> super geniuses. Uh -huh. 900 IQ. Uh huh. Okay, that's like my friends. <laughs> Look, you can ask them any question. <laughs> ask them a question, Adam. The teacher picked a new student to answer the oh, question okay. every time. Okay, ask the question again. 
What is the Pythagorean theorem? Okay, they're both gonna raise their hands. I'm gonna pick Chimmy. Chimmy says there are 50 states in the United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> Boom, he got it right. That's not what I asked, even though that is right. But I, I asked a math question. Okay, they're both gonna raise their hands. Uh-huh. Mm, I'm gonna pick Cookie. Cookie says there are three sides on a triangle. <laughs> Boom! Take that! That's yeah. not the answer. Yeah. So who's their teacher? I'm their teacher. <laughs> really? Yeah. You think you're smart enough to teach them? Shimmy is Justin a good teacher? He said I'm gonna raise my hand. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah! Is it just because the teacher, she's picking the student that she knows will know the answer? So you think she's picking the student that's like the smartest? I guess. But she has to pick a new student every time. So Maybe they're all just really smart. No. What What you mean? <laughs> okay, okay. Teacher Justy is now here. I will do a simulation to figure out the answer. So you're the teacher in the riddle? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> Inspector Adam has come to my classroom. Uh-huh. My friends are here in class. Uh-huh. Now go ahead and ask them a question. Okay, what is the square root of 625? They are both going to raise their hands. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to pick Chimmy. Chimmy says, it is 25. That's wow. right. Okay, okay, next question. Okay, just like in the riddle, what is the square root of 196? They're both gonna raise their hands. Okay. I'm gonna pick Kooky, because I gotta pick someone different every time. Uh-huh. Kooky says it's 14. They got them right. Yeah. How did that help you solve the riddle? Because I know how they got that right. How? I think there's a secret system in here uh -huh. where one of the kids, depending on his hand waving and signals, is telling the teacher he or really? she knows the answer. Yeah. So you think the teacher told the kids to all raise their hands no matter what, but only one kid who knows it does some kind of weird hand signal? That's what I'm thinking. Dude, do you want to lock that in? I bet it's a secret hand signal. I bet one of them waves their hand. I bet that's how they're waving. That's their secret signal. I think it's some sort of secret signal where all the kids raise their hand. One of them who knows the answer raises their hand in a different way and the teacher knows and they pick that one. Okay. Okay, let's see what the answer is. Now the answer is, the teacher made a deal with the students that they should all raise their hand. Yeah. But if the students know the answer, they should raise their left oh, hand. Oh, dude. And if they don't, they should raise their right hand. Let's go away so did And that she would only pick the people that raised their left hand because only the people that raised their left hand knew it. So she would always pick that person. Wait, so do I get that right? You got I that one right. Go! Dude, nice job. Okay, Justin got that riddle right and we can move on to the next one, which is, this cupcake riddle. Cupcakes? Okay, now here we go. Marcus was visiting his grandmother, Miss Potts. Mrs. Potts. The old lady adored riddles. Okay. And always tested her grandson's logic. Okay. She prepared a cupcake riddle for Ooh, Marcus. Granny's cupcakes. She knew he hated oranges. Okay. So she cooked three different cupcakes with different fillings. Strawberry, apple, and orange. Okay, okay. Miss Potts put the cupcakes in front of Marcus and said, Choose one cupcake. One of the cupcakes has orange filling. The strawberry filling is not in the green oh, cupcake. Oh, not another one of these riddles. The apple cupcake is not near the strawberry cupcake. Which cupcake has the orange filling? You gotta try and find out which one has the orange filling. To help you out, I brought in some Twinkies and some icing <laughs> to correspond with each ingredient. Okay. So this is strawberry for red, yeah. orange for the orange, and green yeah. for the apple. Thank you for bringing these. These will help me out greatly. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, now see if you can figure this out before Justin. And if you can, you are actually a genius. Wait, no, those are, those are for the riddle. Huh? <laughs> I didn't get you these to eat, and then you can solve it. These are to help you solve the riddle. You can't no, eat these. No, no. Yeah. But if I eat these, it will increase my brain power. No, yeah. no. Yeah. That's not how that works. <laughs> okay, luckily I have an extra Twinkie. Do not eat this one. Let me try and help you with this riddle, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap these. Justin! What? What were you about to do? I was gonna smell it. You're gonna smell it. Why? Okay, put it on the table. Do hey, let me help. Justin! Okay, now the clues are on the screen. So we have a strawberry, an apple, and an orange, just like in the riddle. Okay. Now, okay, the first clue is the strawberry filling is not in the green cupcake. Okay. Now, okay, so you know the orange filling. Stop! You're not confusing here. me! The <laughs> strawberry filling is not in the green cupcake. So strawberries are either here or here. Uh-huh. Okay. These are apple and strawberry. The strawberry is not in the green cupcake. That tells me absolutely nothing. <laughs> now if I assume this one is the strawberry. <laughs> 
<laughs> that also makes this apple and that makes this orange. I solved it. It's the green one. Are you sure? Boom. Yes. Well, if I assume that this one is strawberry, the apple is not near the strawberry. That's not possible because then the apple would be near it. Yep. It's this one. It's the green one. It's the green one. Lock it in. What happens if you get this one wrong? If you get this one wrong, I get to eat all of these and you have to watch me. That will never happen. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The strawberry filling is not in the middle. Yeah. The apple filling can't be in the middle. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be near the straw. Yeah! Okay. So it's a green one! So it's... You got it! Yeah! Right. Yeah! Eat it, Adam! Do it! Eat it! Now eat the second one! Yeah! Do it! Now eat the third one! Yeah! Yeah! Eat it! Eat Granny's cupcakes. Okay, Justin got that one right. Okay, that's it. Justin got all the riddles right today. Dude, you're so smart. Let's go. So let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this blind pill riddle. What? Okay. A blind girl is trapped on an island. Okay, okay. She is given two blue pills and two red pills. Okay. She must eat one blue pill and one red pill. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Any other combination will poison her. What? What should she do? Wait, that's the whole riddle? That's the whole riddle? That's the whole riddle. So she has four pills. She's blind, so she can't see them. Uh -huh. She has to take one of each color uh -huh. in order to live. Any other combination, she will be poisoned. Okay. How do you do that? Okay, okay. <laughs> This is a real riddle. I'm going to take out some pills here. Okay, Skittles. Yes, yeah, Skittles. Okay, now, so two red and in, two... Now, there are no blue Skittles. I'm going to use green ones instead. Okay, it's okay. The same thing. Got okay, it. now, she has four pills. Correct. Two red, two green, and two blue. And she can't see them. She's blind. She's got to take one red and one blue, or green in this case. If she takes any other combination, she will die. Exactly. And all the pills feel the exact same. They look the exact same. Just the color is different. So... How do you do it? Look, if I close my eyes, right? Okay, now you I can't, can't see. see. Okay, just like her. Now I'm gonna mix these pills up for a real simulation. Okay. Okay, okay. They are definitely mixed up. I now, is this all four of them? Yes, you have four in your hand. <laughs> what I will actually now do is using the power of Skittles. I can smell which ones are red and which ones are green, Adam. Okay. This one right here is red. <laughs> is it red? No. <laughs> oh. I would die if this was me. <laughs> and okay, the pills on. that she's using are not Skittles. They don't have any scent. They don't have We're any We're just smell. using these for the example. Okay, okay. Wait, I might be a genius. Did Justin solve it? What if I'm actually a genius? I'm thinking this. She only needs to take one red and one blue or one green. What if she ate all of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, any <laughs> other combination will poison her. <laughs> and she spits two out. How do you know that the ones in your mouth are one red and one green. Spit them out. See I what color they my are. Body. My body would instinctually know. <laughs> what if you just ate two red pills? <laughs> Spit them out. Uh, Justin. Uh, Justin. Uh, Get Cookie to help. Okay. <laughs> Cookie's a no. I must find the antidote. <laughs> Cookie's coming in. Cookie's a chimmy. Help. Help. <laughs> Cookie and Chimmy. I'm going to run some experiments. <laughs> And they have found the perfect combination of Skittles. What are they? They say administer the pills quickly. <laughs> This is so stupid. Whoa! I'm back! Oh, thank goodness! I'm actually onto something. That that experiment actually taught me the answer. If in a hypothetical world she could clone herself, <laughs> if she could clone herself, uh -huh. she could take two pills, and the clone could take two pills, and one of them would survive. No, because what if one of them took both red and the other took both green? Ah, I actually have it. I actually have it. This time I'm being serious. I have it. I know notice these pills can be broken. What if she breaks each pill in half and eats half of that pill? She's guaranteed to eat one whole red one and one whole blue or green one. Wait, do a demonstration. I'm a national hero. Where is my Nobel Peace Prize award for science? Look, I have four pills. Let's say I don't even know what these are, right? But if I take all of them, I can't see. I just take half of each. Okay, half. It doesn't matter. Half, half, uh-huh, and a half. 
Then when you link them back up, you still have one full green and one full red. Which means I took one full green, one full red. Dude! And that'll work every time! Somebody give me an award! Go! Trophy! Now! Right now! <laughs> okay, let's see if that is the correct answer. Now, the answer is break each pill and take a half! I'm getting my award. Thank you! I will now accept my award, my Nobel Peace Prize. I would like to give a speech really quick. Okay. I would like to thank everybody who helped me with my scientific research. Cookie, Jimmy, the polar bear. Yeah. I would like to thank uh, all the Skittles, all the medicine. I'm a genius. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Justin got that one right. And we're going to move on to the next riddle right now, which is this four door riddle or door. Okay, here's how this one okay, starts. Okay. You are trapped in a room with four oh, doors. No, no. You no. have some food in a bucket. Is it a bucket of chicken? <laughs> <laughs> but there is danger behind every door. Under the first door is a big fire. Okay, okay. The second door has a giant octopus. <laughs> <laughs> the third door has a pool full of crocodiles. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the fourth door has an angry oh. polar bear. <laughs> Those are cute. <laughs> okay. Now, what should you do to escape? <laughs> I got a bucket and I got some food. Got some high knee mud. Okay, <laughs> now, using only these things and your brain, <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to solve this riddle? So, your first instinct is to immediately eat the Let food you think, have. Yeah, let me think real hard at <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> help you solve the riddle? <laughs> yes. So you think you might have to use this food later? Like you might not want to eat it yet? <laughs> okay. Now I have just the bucket. So the first door, right? There's a big fire. Yeah. What would you do about that? I'm not going to flex. Every time there's a fire, uh -huh. I tell you how me and Kuki are certified firefighters uh -huh. and we could beat that. But I don't think that's the answer because this is for anybody, not just me. Right. Okay. I don't think anybody can get through a fire. Now, hold on. What about the giant octopus? Now, this is interesting. The octopus kind of looks like me. Now, I can actually help you. I have made an <laughs> octopus cutout. Wow. So, this can simulate if you pick door number two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. he's angry. He's pretty funny looking. <laughs> you guys do kind of look alike. Yeah, this is very... Got the same body shape. <laughs> I might take him and lure him into the bucket. Hello, Mr. Octopus. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, now I got him in the bucket. Okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty promising. Now I can get out, I can escape, and I have a friend. I got a pet. You would put the octopus in a bucket and then go through the octopus door? Yeah. But the octopus is underwater. You can't huh? breathe underwater. No, wait, it never said it's underwater. Maybe it's Look not Look at the underwater. background, it's water. Octopus don't live on land. Yes, they can. <laughs> not for long. What about this one? <laughs> I don't think it's the giant octopus. Giant octopus is pretty scary. I don't like squishy, slimy things. Okay. I'm gonna move on. Door number three. Now I'm saying the pool full of crocodiles is very promising. <laughs> I have made a crocodile. You need to go back to preschool, Adam. <laughs> this is a crocodile. Yeah? This looks like a little chameleon. <laughs> now I'm thinking the crocodile is pretty promising because I have food. Dude, the Crocodiles wait. eat food. You know what I mean? Okay. If I throw food at the fire, that's not gonna help. If I throw food at the octopus, that's not gonna help. If I throw food at the crocodiles, that might help. So I'm actually going to do a live action simulation Okay. how I would escape. Okay. I got some food. Yeah. Crocodile, you want a honey bun? Yeah. Okay. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> and then I would trap the alligator inside the bucket. There he is. There wait, 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 wait. Can an alligator fit in a bucket? Yeah. Alligators are huge. Well, their head could fit in the bucket like this. Oh. And then his tail would just be out here wagging like this. I say, goodbye, Mr. Alligator. I run through. Okay, say, that's I, pretty promising. The crocodile room is looking pretty promising, honestly. Okay, Justin thinks it might be the crocodile. Now, there's one door left. See if you can try and figure this out before Justin can. See if you can get this right. The polar bears. No, what do you think about bear. those? I'm thinking they're looking very <laughs> cute. <laughs> I do know polar bears can be pretty dangerous, yes. right? Yes. Especially when they're hungry. True. <laughs> Except... <laughs> 
Actually, I have brought in my friend who is a real life polar bear consultant. No, that's a teddy bear that my mom got me for last Valentine's Day. He says, I will now claw you. <laughs> he says, back up. Yeah. Okay, now this is a real life polar bear. Okay. And if I were to walk through his door, he would say, hey, stop. You are a thick little boy. You're not allowed through here. But I am actually a master of despise and camouflage. <laughs> despise? Huh? You mean disguise? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Despise? Despise is when spies use disguise. Spies use despise? I am a spy and I will spy on your disguise. Okay. And then I'll eat some pies. Yeah. Try me, Adam. Okay, so you're going to pretend to be like an iceberg? No, I'm pretending to be a polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. I am now a furry little polar bear. I'm okay. gonna walk up to him. He's gonna say hello. We're gonna greet each other in the polar bear greeting. And he's gonna let me through. Right? Yeah. And I'm getting through that door. Done. You think that you're going to befriend a polar bear and then they'll let you through. That would work except for all you have is a bucket and some food. You don't have this white sheet to make the disguise. So that whole plan won't work. So that whole thing was for nothing? <laughs> yeah. I don't have my camouflage despise disguise with the pies in disguise? No. Well, I'm wasting my time here. Okay. okay, so what do you think the answer is? I, I'm thinking, look, the polar bears, I'm not thinking that's it. I'm thinking, honestly, it's gotta be the crocodiles. The fire is too dangerous. The giant octopus I'm scared of is slippery and slimy. This one, I have a real chance with the bucket to secure the victory. And the polar bears, I'm not gonna mess with. That's it. I'm locking in the crocodiles. It's door three. Lock it in. Throw away the key. Okay. Now, Justin's saying to use the food on the crocodiles, then trap them in the bucket and escape. The answer is to distract the crocodiles with the food you have and use the bucket of water to fight the fire. Wait, what? So the actual answer was to distract the crocodiles, grab the bucket and scoop up water and then throw it on the room with the fire. So the answer is <laughs> not door three? Well, it's door three. Grab the water, then pour it on the room with the fire and then leave through the door with the fire. So you actually got that one. One wrong. <laughs> For now, let's get into the next riddle, which is this animal riddle. What? All you have to tell me is how many animals are in this picture. Oh, we put you in a riddle. <laughs> there you are. This is way too hard. You better hope your eyesight is very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many do you see right off the bat? Okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> there are so many. And if you don't guess the exact amount correct, you get the riddle wrong. You have to tell me the exact number. At the very bottom, I'm seeing a mouse. And above that, I'm seeing a cat. That's two. I'm going to use Skittles to keep track of how many animals I see. <laughs> okay. I can't count that high. Yeah, okay. That Is that sense. funny to you? <laughs> One for the mouse. <laughs> One for the cat. And above that, there's a little doggy. Okay, that's three. Above that, there is a donkey. Okay. Okay, that's four. But next to the donkey, I am seeing what looks like a mosquito, like an insect. Uh-huh. But does that count as an animal? I don't know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's impossible. Okay, I'm going to say this counts. One okay. for the mosquito. It could five. also be just a crease in the elephant's leg. Yeah, and maybe this whole picture is just a crease on your phone. <laughs> no. Now you may Maybe lose count. Uh oh. Now I gotta start over again. <laughs> okay. One, one for the mouse, one for the cat, one for the dog, donkey, mosquito. Okay. Then, of course, there's the elephant. Can't right. forget about him. Then we got the turtle. For the elephant's on his ear? ear. Yeah. Okay. Another one. Okay. Oh, and then there's a little fishy <laughs> for his eye. Okay. This makes no sense. Okay. There looks to be like a shark tail on his nose. What am I looking at? <laughs> what am I? That's a crocodile. It's like facing this way. <laughs> Okay. the back of a crocodile look like that? You don't know. <laughs> okay, so you mean this is two animals? I don't know. Is it? Oh, this is a dolphin. It doesn't matter. I already added that one. I think that's it. Oh, wait. It's a little snake for the tail. What about the crease above the mosquito? That could be a blade of grass or like one of those <laughs> stick bugs. <laughs> a blade of grass? An animal? Animal eats blades of grass. You about to eat my fist. Uh, no. If that's a blade of grass, then I guess these two lines are also blades okay, of grass. Okay, maybe, maybe that was just to try and trick you. You are a troll, Adam. You're a troll. What about this little thing on its kneecap? Is that, that could be a sand dollar. It could be a... <laughs> 
I'm so tired of you. I don't understand. I'm gonna say that's it. I'm gonna say that's it. I don't think that's an animal. Okay, so wait. What is your answer? How many animals are there? Just as many Skittles as I have here. I'm kinda hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you count using your mouth? Yeah! <laughs> Wait, how many was that? That was 10. Now the actual answer is 13. What? Animals. So there's the mouse, the cat, yeah. the snake, yeah. the dog, yeah, I got all the those. donkey, I got those. the mosquito, I got that. the elephant, I which said, you did not count. I did. No. Yes, I did. Put a rewind. Then of course there's the elephant. Can't right. forget about him. I put a skittle for the elephant. I okay, did. Okay, the tortoise, the fish, yeah. the bird head. Huh? Apparently they said that's the head of a bird. Then they said a dolphin, a crocodile. Which the two animals? How, <laughs> how is that a bird head? <laughs> what you mean? Keep going. It gets even weirder. A prawn? <laughs> Where is the prawn? I think it's on like the side of his leg. That's not what a prawn looks like. <laughs> wait, no, wait. I got all of these except for the bird head and the prawn. Yeah, but you guessed 10. No, because I thought the dolphin and the crocodile were one. Oh. So there's that which I missed and then two prawn. Why don't they just add a shot? <laughs> a what? Is that a prawn, man? Yes. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Justin <laughs> got that one. Why oh, are you kidding me? And we're going to move on to the next riddle right now, which is who is more stupid? Oh, easy. Okay, no. now. No, not me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the riddle. Oh. No, okay. All you have to tell me is who is more stupid. There's two girls sitting on a tree with <laughs> saws. And you just have to tell me which one is stupider. Who is more stupid? <laughs> well, obviously. The girl yeah. looks a little bit yeah. like you. I was going to say, you really picked a riddle where the two girls look like us? <laughs> I don't look like the girl. You literally, that's literally you. You have brown hair. What are you talking about? This is literally the two of us in girl form sitting in a tree. It's you. It's the one on the right. The green one's more stupid. I'm done. I'm locking that in. Do so you think the girl on the right you don't want to use any logic? You just think it's me because I, I look like her? I did use the logic. It's you. <laughs> I'm not seeing any clues as to what's going on. So we will have to do a real life simulation. Bust out the saws, Adam. I don't have saws. And if I did, I would not trust you with a saw. They're in a tree really high up, yeah, right? I can see that. She's sawing the branch. She's also sawing the branch. What are you talking about? Where is the tree. I thought you'd be able to get this one a lot easier. Dude, why did you make the stupid one me? You had every choice in the world. I didn't make this. Yes, you did. <laughs> I know you photoshopped this, Adam, because this girl is chopping this part so she wouldn't fall. The yeah. girl on the right, the girl in the green is chopping the tree to where she wouldn't fall. The one here is chopping the one to where they both will fall. Maybe she's the smart, maybe. Maybe the purple hair is the smart one. Maybe she's doing this to sabotage the green one. You think that's the answer? You really mean- But if she sabotaged the green one, she would also fall. Does she look like she cares? <laughs> Do I look like I care? <laughs> the answer is the purple one. She's the more stupid one, which she is not. I am not the stupid one. Lock it and move on. So you think the girl on the left is stupider because when she saws the branch, both of them will fall? Yeah. Okay, let's see what the answer is. The girl on the left is the stupider one. They will both fall if she keeps going. Good job. Yeah. Okay, Justin yeah. was able to get that one right, which means he has gotten half of them right, half of them wrong. This last riddle will determine if he wins the prize or not. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get into the final riddle, which is this vision riddle. Huh? The more there is, the less you see. What am I? There's literally anything would answer this. Like what? The more honey buns there are, the less you see. If I now you have no buns. No, because yeah. the more you'd see. Because there's more honey buns. No. If I put the honey buns here, can you see anything? Yeah, uh, but that's not more honey buns. That's just blocking honey buns with your eyes. No, right now you have zero honey buns, right? Yes. Now you have one. This riddle doesn't say it's in front of your eyes. It's just Everything more. Everything's in front of your eyes. Right now you have zero toilet papers. Now <laughs> you have one toilet paper. Yeah, but it's not saying you cover it with your eyes. The more there is, the less you see. Okay, this could be anything. Darkness. The more darkness there is, the less you see. That's it. What? That's literally the answer. You got the answer right. Talk to Justin. Are you kidding me? Let's 
go! Wow, Jessica was able to solve that one so quick because the more darkness there is, like at nighttime, the less you can see. Let us know how many out of those five riddles you were able to get right. Justin got three. Now let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this blogger riddle, okay? Okay, here's how this one starts. Kim is a blogger. Her videos are famous all over the world. Oh, dude, she's a vlogger. This year, her family went away for Christmas. Okay. Kim stayed home alone. Okay. She was going to make a special Christmas video. Okay, okay. That morning, Kim went out for a walk in the park. Dude, Kim got purple hair like, is this me? Dude, that's like the female version of Justin. Let's go. She overheard a conversation between two men. Okay. They were going to rob a nearby house over Christmas. Okay. They were talking about her house. Oh, no. I bet these robbers have never watched YouTube. Yeah, uh, uh, Kim ran back home. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, <laughs> how did she turn that fast? Dude, is she a super? No, she's speeding. Is that how you run? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> she had to prepare for the attack and shoot the best Christmas video ever. That evening, Kim saw the robbers outside her window. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They were walking towards her house. Uh -huh. Hey guys, I'll let you in if you solve my riddle. If you're getting robbed and you know you're getting robbed, maybe don't allow them to rob you if they solve a riddle. Dude. Just call the cops. Kim, this is not a good example you're setting. <laughs> Kids at home, if you're trying to be a YouTuber, <laughs> this is not the way to make content. <laughs> <laughs> Kim really like, I'm about to get robbed. Oh, okay, that's Let me some good content. Like yeah, that's some good content. <laughs> Are you insane? Guys, make sure to subscribe if you want to see me get robbed next week. <laughs> me and Kookie about to come in for that loot. Oh, oh, got the loot. What words are hidden on my door? Okay, what? so that is the riddle. Now, there are a lot of hints in the riddle about what this might be, but do you think you can solve this? Maybe because you and Kim have the same color of hair, you're able to solve it quicker. Yes, Because I agree. people with purple hair probably think the same. I agree. Is this an algebra riddle? <laughs> Why is it negative one? Let me bring in some paper to now, practice my calculus. Have you ever robbed someone? No. I have stolen a lot of hearts. You don't believe me? Nobody believes you. What do you think the answer to this riddle might be? Okay. Dude, no way. What? No way. What? Kim is a daily vlogger. Uh-huh. She has actually cracked the YouTube algorithm. What do you mean? She's got a YouTube channel, right? If she gets negative one subscriber, then she gets a zillion points of value. And then she's going to do some algebra and graph the derivative of the YouTube channel and the stock market is going this way and then she's actually gonna take her YouTube blogger money and invest it. I'm gonna turn Lanky Box into a new financial education channel. Really? Banky Box. Really? Yeah. I have solved the riddle. The answer is minus one subscriber. We're gonna turn this channel into Banky Box. Welcome now, back to Banky Box. Well, wait a minute. By the look of her house, she is clearly a very successful YouTuber because she lives in like a mansion. That's what I'm saying. She clearly invested in those stocks that I wrote here. You thought that because the first couple letters, ZPV, might stand for zillion points value? Yep. So it could be like X, xylophone, J, jelly, something like that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There you go. Try to help again, Dumbo. <laughs> well, you're not even close with I, this. What do you mean? I just cracked. I just solved the stock market. No, here. you did not. Are you trying to shut down my channel, Banky Box? Back up. Okay, I'm going to take this riddle from the very start, see if I missed anything. She is an eccentric blogger. Dude, she got more views than everyone. Maybe Christmas has something to do with it. Okay, I'm getting no clues here. What if I try turning it upside down? Oh! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. We're gonna put this on the screen, so hopefully you guys can play along now. Try there, and figure is, this is out. This like, is this like a trolley box? Like a pranky box? Or no. is this like a real answer? No. These riddles are going to get crazy. Dude, this is too hard. I did not graduate from kindergarten. <laughs> How you want me to solve a derivative calculus <laughs> integration it's, problem? Don't over Overthink it. There are no words hidden on her door. Might Maybe you need to increase your brain power somehow. Maybe because I have purple hair, if I transform into Kim and start vlogging, I can solve this. Dude, that's a great idea. Okay. So I'll be the robber in the riddle and you can be Kim. If you were robbing someone, this is what you would wear? Yeah. You'd be the most- Give me your phone. 
Stop it! I was robbing you! Stop it! Hey everybody, it's me, Kim. Uh -huh. I'm just hanging out. I'm so funny and quirky and eccentric. Uh, can I please rob your house? No, unless you solve this code. Okay. What is it? Do it right now. Hmm. I need content for my channel. Uh, Tell me the answer. I don't know it. But we can go like hang out and like That's not happening. Have a snowball fight. Cookie said did this on tape. Jimmy, keep the cameras rolling. Cookie's gonna come in. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me try to just think very straightforward. Okay. Minus one ZPV. Oh! No way. What do you think it is? Am I an actual genius? I don't know, are you? Minus one. Maybe it's minus like a letter from the alphabet. Two! Wait, try it, try and spell it out. I am a genius. Every letter in the alphabet, like if A is the first letter and B is the second, it'd be like B is number two, you minus one, so B becomes A, C becomes B. Uh -huh. Every letter moves up one. So Z P V equals Y O U. Oh you! This W I L L U will C is B F is E. You will be. What's the alphabet? I use too much of my brain power. I quit. No, you're so I close. I give up. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Banky Box. I have actually been spending too much time today thinking about the stock market. My brain power is sapped. <laughs> I cannot solve this. You don't think you can solve this last word? I'm sorry. Nope. You already solved Z okay, in the first T -S -T -S -P word. Okay, T S T S P O O O O T L M N O P Q R S. You will be sorry, dude. You solved it. Wait. Okay. Let's wait, see wait, if wait, that's wait, the right wait. answer. Wait. So they guessed the code. You will be sorry. And then she let them in her house? Maybe. Okay, let's see what the answer is. You will be sorry. Replace every letter with the one before it in the alphabet. Let's go. And then she let the robbers in her house. Wait, that's how it ends, really? Yeah, they're just there. <laughs> so after all that, you still got robbed. Dude, I did camp. But you at least you solved the riddle. Kim, you need to get your priorities straight. It is not <laughs> worth it to get robbed for some YouTube content. Okay? Now, okay, Jesse got that one right. Woo! Good job, that dude. That was actually hard. But these are actually going to get even trickier, I promise. So let us know if you guys got that one right. This four door riddle. Another door riddle, and This one is tricky. You okay, ready? Okay. Okay. On Christmas Eve, Mary was taken. Dude, no way. When she woke up, she found herself in a room with four doors. There was a note from the bad guys. Choose one door to get out, but there will be an obstacle behind each door. Okay. Got it? Which door should Mary choose? Okay, so behind door one is a blazing fire. Door two has a guy ready to attack you. Door three has your ex who's a black belt in karate and a hungry tiger. And door four has a room full of traps. Okay, so now you are Mary. You have to pick one of these doors to try and escape through. That is a very realistic situation. <laughs> I could definitely see how this could happen. Now the first door, there's some fire. This is just made of paper. That's an easy pick. I'm gonna go with door one. Really? Yeah. You think that's the answer? That's easy, man. That's easy. So how would you get into door one, assuming there's a big fire there. I'm gonna need you to step aside. We're gonna make our escape from this room. And then Cookie's gonna come in and put out the fire. Yeah! Wait, okay. there's still fire. No, he just put it out. It's still there. Cookie says, no, it's not. You think the answer is to pour a small cup of water on the fire and then run in? That's really your answer. Okay, let me rethink that one. <laughs> okay. What about door number two? A bad guy ready to attack you? That's probably not a good choice. Is it worse than the fire, though? Almost oh, definitely. <laughs> Really? Yeah, let me show you. Okay. What's more scary to you? This? That's pretty scary. This? Or this? <laughs> Wait, that's just a photo of me. <laughs> that's not scary at all. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrifying. Absolutely not door number two. I would take the fire any day. And door number three, your ex, who's a black belt in karate and a hungry tiger. Now, this has potential. Really? Because I don't think the ex is going to attack you. You've been abducted. <laughs> like, Well, this door also would never exist because you've never had an ex because you've never had a girlfriend. The ex is not going to attack you. Unless you had a really messy breakup. The tiger will attack anybody. It doesn't know it's just you. Door number four, a room full of trash. 
traps, not too good. So wait, wait, the X is not gonna attack you, but the tiger would. Yes. <laughs> I said I had an idea. Okay, yes, what is it? Let me explain. I've been learning because that ridiculous riddle we looked at a while back with the zombie uh -huh. and the motion sensing bricks and lasers. Uh -huh. What if you lure the tiger out into the room full of traps? Uh -huh. The tiger goes away and then you have your ex come and fight the bad guy. Yeah, but your ex knows karate. So wouldn't he just attack the tiger? No, he can't beat a tiger. He's a black belt. Oh, oh really? He can beat a tiger because he got a black belt? Well, if the tiger is not that good at karate, oh, then yeah. yeah, he could beat Let's it. Let's put it to the test. <laughs> you start with a blue belt because I cannot start you at a black belt. Okay. It is now you versus ah, a real tiger. Let's see if you can fight him. This is going to be easy. Three. It's made of paper. Two. One. Ah! Hey, wait. Justin. Justin. Hey, wait. Stop. Justin. And then the tiger's going to pull in some back up. Did that help you solve the riddle? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it did? I think my answer's right. Okay, I think you take the tiger, you put it in the room full of traps, and then you have your ex fight the bad guy, locking it in. Okay, that's Justin's answer, guys. Lock in your answers. We're gonna see what the correct answer to this riddle is. Here we go. The answer is, door three, the hungry tiger should be eating her ex. She has time to slip past it. That's the whole answer. I knew so, that though. I had the tiger was attacking you. I could have slipped. Out. No, wait, go get no, us out. No, hey, Justin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip out. <laughs> Justin, come back. You got the riddle right. You thought it was door number three and the answer was door number three. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so Justin actually got that riddle right even though it wasn't exactly what the riddle answer said, but he got the right door. So let us know if you guys got that one right and we're gonna move on to the next crazy riddle right now, which is... Who will fall? Who will fall? Okay, now this is a very simple riddle. All you have to tell me is who will fall. Okay. So there's a guy on the left and a guy on the right. Okay. And you just got to analyze the details and figure out who is going to fall off and who's going to stay on. Okay, the one on the left, very red in the face. And he's got two kettlebells uh -huh. in each arm. The one on the right. Now this guy has got a balloon in one hand. Mm -hmm. He's got kooky in his other hand. Oh! Now which one will fall? I'm going to completely ignore the fact that I know the answer right away. Really? And actually apply high level quantum physics to a real world simulation. I have now set up this tightrope as a simulation. Okay. I'm going to walk on it. Justin. I am on the tightrope. Okay. Now I will be the first guy. Give me the two kettlebells. Okay. You have to get really red in the face. Okay. Now I've got the two weights. They are of equal size and weight. Uh-huh. And I'm feeling good. I'm going to cross. Yeah. Okay. That one worked. Now I'm going to try the second guy. Okay, okay. So he has a balloon in his right hand and Kooky in his left hand. Okay. Now the balloon was probably filled with helium. Uh-huh. So it's pulling him this way. Ah, it's floating away. And then Kooky, who is super thick, <laughs> is going to pull me down. Oh, 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 oh. I just solved it. Wait, what do you think the answer is? The answer is the one holding the balloon will fall because the riddle is using advanced reverse psychology where you think this guy will be fine because he's got lighter objects. Uh -huh. But physics tells us that if these weights are the same weight, which I think they are, his center of balance is perfectly in the middle and he'll be okay, whereas this guy is uneven. Done. Boom. Now, bop. that is a pretty good answer because if this guy falls, these things are really heavy. He's just gonna fly down. But if this guy falls, depending on how heavy he is, he might just float like a hot air balloon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that disagrees with all logic in my head. But we're Have gonna... you never seen a hot air balloon? Yeah, why don't we put the test, Adam? Here you go. You hold the balloon. And now I want you to jump off this table. I'm heavier than I he is. I want you to jump off this table. Maybe you'll float. Like you said, do not touch me. Do not. How was that? My balloon is blue and his is green, so may. You really tried to convince me that this guy would float away? Yeah. Show the answer, Adam. The answer is he will fall because of uneven weight distribution. The guy on the left has even weight, even though it's heavier. Dude, okay. When I got the riddle right, you really tried to just convince me of something wrong? Maybe. I wanted to see if I could outsmart you, but I could not. <laughs> 
Move on, Adam. <laughs> okay, Jesse got that riddle right, and we're gonna run to the next riddle right now, which is this jewelry riddle. What? Okay, Mary is a professional thief. Okay. She makes friends with rich women. Okay. Then she steals their jewelry. Wait, that's actually kind of smart. One day she put on some diamond earrings. Okay, okay. She had just stolen them. She sat down at a restaurant and saw two undercover cops. They were looking for her. The cops didn't know what Ma Mary looked like. Who is? Mary. One of these people is Mary, and you have to try and figure out who Mary is. You really called this episode crazy hard riddles, and this is the easiest riddle I think you've ever shown me. Really? For normal people, maybe some of the viewers, this might be a little bit tough, okay? But you are forgetting who you're showing these riddles to. There is one priority in my life. Friendship? No, food! Uh oh. So the first thing I'm looking at in this riddle is everybody's food. And the very first thing I see is this piece of cake. You already know. I'm saying, is that chocolate? Is it strawberry? How many layers are it? What kind of frosting is there? And the ring is right there. The earrings are right there. Okay. I also, quickly, just so you know, I looked at the sandwich. That's actually a ham and turkey sandwich on white bread. And this lady over here has what appears to be a chicken cob salad. That's not really part of the answer, but... That... My deductive reason ouch, is too high. Dude, maybe you should become an undercover cop. Yeah. I could just stand on top of a building looking like some sort of <laughs> groundhog. Just kind of, I'm just gonna spy on that. Guys, quick. if you're ever in a restaurant and you see this looking at you, be on the lookout because it might be Justin trying to arrest you. <laughs> I see you. You're not sneaky. No, we're undercover cops. You didn't see anything. No, you're under table cops. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Now let's see the answer. Here she is. She just hid the earrings in her dessert. Let's go. Okay, let us know if you guys were able to spot that using your eyes. As opposed to spot it using their noses. This submarine riddle. Okay. Okay, it was Christmas morning. Oh, a lot of these riddles are about Christmas. A submarine captain found one of his sailors lifeless in his bed. Okay. But who did it? What? It must have been someone on his crew. The captain questioned Ethan's body. Bunkmates. Okay. I was checking the sensors. Mm -hmm. Likely story. I was Skyping with my wife. Uh-huh. I was washing the floors. Okay. Okay, who is lying? I got it. Who? I'm actually 9 trillion IQ, dude. The first guy checking the sensors, somebody's got to do it. Uh-huh. But the second guy, I was Skyping with my wife. They're in a submarine, Adam. But they have a Christmas tree. That's like a really cool submarine. There's no Wi-Fi or cell reception underwater. Wait, but there's Wi-Fi in airplanes. Why couldn't they have Wi-Fi? under the water. Why don't you have a brain <laughs> under the skull? <laughs> Are you insane? It's the guy Skyping. Stop trying to lead me on. Stop trying to confuse me. I'm actually 900 IQ. I add to that. Out of these three guys, this one looks the most like you. You ain't not gonna have no wife. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, let's see what the answer is. Who is lying? Till they're on a submarine. There's no internet. Let's go! Hey. Okay, Justin was able to get all of the riddles correct. Let us know if you guys were also able to solve all of those. Today we're doing the new verse pro verse hacker challenge in Digit Run. Whoa, what is this? We're the number one? What is that? Whoa, we get to be a number. Whoa, it's a question mark. What is that? Oh, it's plus 15. It's really good. Oh, I get it. So you got to get like the max number possible. Okay, now Adam, this looks a lot like the math problems your mom makes me do. Okay, I don't like it. I'm getting tricked, aren't I? Oh, we're huge. 313. Oh, how far can we go? Oh, we kicked the 50. We went max level on our first try. Wow, dude, that's great. Hey, that's proof. Adam's mom, if you're watching this, that's proof. I'm good at math. Blow the dark, Foxy says. Adam, what do you get when you multiply regular Foxy with a ghost encounter? You get the glow in the dark plushies? True. Hey, yo, I failed. <laughs> After we were just talking about how good at math we are. Yo, it literally just says you fail. What am I, back in school? <laughs> I'm not in school. Stop it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna zoom right here. I'm gonna zoom. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Okay. So you gotta fight the number and you lose that much. So we're gonna lose 20. No problem. Oh, I get it. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Dude, our first one was our best run. We're at like 300. Now we're only at 192. Get him! Oh, 
Oh, can we still go max? No, oh, not quite. We are close, guys. We need a big number. Everybody at home, math rocks. Okay, make sure you focus in school and you learn your numbers. Otherwise, you'll end up idiots like me and Adam. That's not good, okay, guys? Yeah, guys, we're really bad at math. Okay, I'm decent. 146 really? plus 80 plus 45. These, these numbers are too high. So, I just... Oh, we're huge. Oh, no, wait. We have to divide by two. No, that would have been a max level run. We're still big, though. 271. We might go max level here, guys. I don't know. Oh, we're fighting off against 150. Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 100. Let's go, dude. I already know, guys. Today's a good day. I'm back in my foxy onesie. I haven't been wearing this that much, guys, because I was wearing the foxy t-shirt from the foxy dress-up. But the foxy onesie and the boxy onesie are still so cozy, bro. Every time I put it on, ooh, 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 yeah, I feel real nice. Dude. I feel real I, nice, Adam. I feel real I, nice. I can't even wear it for that long because I'm worried that I'm going to just fall asleep. Yeah, because <laughs> I fall asleep really easily. And so especially if I'm wearing something super cozy and cuddly, I just knock out. Out. We failed again. Golden Ark Foxy says, hey, you know, two things put Adam to sleep. One's the onesie and the other's some warm milk. <laughs> Rocky says, don't. I'm not a glass of milk, Adam. I'm glow in the dark. Okay. Adam's been looking at the glow in the dark plushies. He looked at Candy a few times like he was going to try and drink some milk. <laughs> Candy is not a can of milk, Adam. He's just glow in the dark. Don't worry, Candy. Yeah. I won't. Oh, I won't. Ghosty says, oh, I'm scared for Candy. <laughs> no, Ghosty. Don't be scared, Candy. He's okay. I'm sure he's okay. Oh, wait, it's 200. Is it, like, harder to kick them? They're, like, heavier to kick. You see that? Oh, yeah, way harder. Wait a minute. Am I an idiot? Are we just kicking them the difference in the number? Because we were, like, 232, and we kicked 200. We went, like, times 30. Oh, I think that's it. So, to get max level, you have to be at least 100 bigger than the last number. Oh, okay. We're 5. Okay, plus 90, plus 18. Okay, this run, we're not looking too big, but we got a times 3 here. Oh, times 3 is huge. Okay, nice. 100. Okay, we're at 289 against 50. We should go max Max level here, if our math is correct. They should be max. Oh, let's go. We did it. Dude, we got to get to level 10. Hey, do the number dance. Hey, okay. <laughs> plus 20, plus 25. Okay, nice. And then plus 50. That's bigger. That's actually bigger. Quick math by That Justin. was tricky. That was tricky. Ghosty says, oh, I'm <laughs> learning. I'm learning about math. Yeah, you are, Ghosty. It's real good, okay? <laughs> this is not a huge run. See, we're only 92 bigger. So can we go max level or are we going to go times 92, bro? Mm, we're going to see. Oh. Yeah, we went times 90, so it's about the difference in the numbers. Wow, yeah, we cracked the code. I cracked the code, bro. Ghosty says, we cracked the ghost code. Yeah, the ghost code, dude. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Now, Ghosty, you helped all the friends become glow-in-the-dark. You gotta teach us how to become glow-in-the-dark, Ghosty. I'm trying to glow. Uh, Adam's trying to glow up. He's been trying to glow up for years. Yeah, it's never worked that well, though. Ghosty says, I, I can't, I can't help with that. Sure. Uh -oh. Don't worry, Ghosty. That's an impossible task anyways to have us glow up. It's not gonna happen. We've been trying. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, come on. Get there. Yeah. Wow. Time's 100. All right. We're going to level 10, bro. It's going to be sick. Here we go. All right. Plus 200. Okay. This is already off to a really good start. Okay. So plus but can oh, we is... maintain it? Candy says we can do it, dude. We're huge. We're 300 right now. We're, we're, we're absolutely, absolutely huge. huge. Yo, this is a huge run right here. This might be the max level run we ever get, bro. We're 600 right now. Oh, no way. Oh, we got to divide. Oh, no. I won't divide by two. Minus is less. That's actually less. Oh, Whoa, you're go huge. Plus Yo, we're actually mammoth, bro. We're almost 700. Dude, this thing's gonna go flying. Yo, we just yeeted them straight to the end, bro. Yeah, times 100. We're on level 10, bro. We're on the max level level 10, bro, right here. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Plus 15. Oh, no. Minus. Oh, no. Okay, this is not good. Oh, okay. Plus 90. That's not bad. Plus 18. Oh, we are... oh. can we go max level on level 10? We got, we got, we got times three. So this is big. This should be pretty big. Yup. Oh, yup. Oh, 300. Hey, easy. Hey, too easy, bro. Let's go. Oh, goodbye. Hey, easy, easy. Let's go. We're going to, we're going times 100 every time, dude. That's My math skills are going boom, boom, bro. They're getting bigger. They're getting stronger. You know what I mean? It's because we have Ghosty here. That's why we're doing so well. Ghosty says his brain is going boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Ghosty says boom. Are you trying to scare me? Are you trying to scare me, Ghosty? Ghosty says, oh, it's not working. Oh. Yeah, guys. Ghosty's trying to be a real scary ghost, but she's not that good at it Ghosty's yet. trying her best, dude. All of the friends are giving her advice, bro. They're all giving her advice. It's helping. Foxy says, it's easy, Ghosty. Just tell Aiden we ran out of mail. No, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay, okay, dude. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go max level, max level, max level. Woo! Let's go. 